Alright, let's hit the... Expert will be fine. I mean... It depends on the mission. Back in the day, I could do them. I don't know about now. This has been... It's been probably about ten years as I play the game. You know, it, it's a thing. Do I'll get there eventually. Majesty, though this swampy region has yet to be transformed into a comfortable abode, I'm sure we can fulfill your mother's dream. I suggest we start small and figure out a way to productively use more of this swampy ground. Perhaps building a festive fairground in the middle of this desolate quagmire. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's build a fairground in the middle of a swamp. What's the worst that could happen? No non-human races or wizards. Okay. All right, let's go. In order to build a fairgrounds, I need a level three palace. Yes. All right, let's pick up a ranger guild. Okay, I didn't see market for a second. I was just overlooking it. There we go. And we'll build, we'll build a rogues guild for this one. Why not? Dendy Whirl, yeah, Dendy Whirl. The blacksmith offers new All right. services. Yeah, that I guess that is basically what Disney World is, yeah. I I didn't really think about that. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Highness, if our kingdom is to prosper, it needs more heroes. Okay, the game's still tutorializing me. I'm glad they give me plenty of gold to start out. Okay, I only need four heroes to go up to level two castle. So that shouldn't be so bad. I'm going to save my money a little bit though, just in case I have some early losses. Especially since I have rogues. Rogues are, uh... Yeah, I... I don't remember the expert levels very well. I know I played a lot of the beginner ones. I played them a lot, and it was one of those things where, like, I would download the game, I would play some beginner levels, and uh, maybe a couple of the harder ones, and then I would stop for a long period of time, and then I'd go back, and I'd go back to the easier levels. <laughs> But uh, I, I do remember doing a few of the expert levels, and there was some some tutorializing. They do introduce new concepts in like the expansion levels, I think, the northern expanse levels. But it, it does seem like the game tutorializes you a lot, which is fine, especially considering this game is from like oh early two thousands, I think. Back then, there wasn't really a lot of uh, precedence for gaming yet. Yeah, I think uh, I think I need twelve heroes for level three. Yeah. Let's build a temple to Krom. I always enjoyed the barbarians. I especially liked how the, uh, the rangers followed the barbarians around. Which, uh, hopefully we'll get to see that. As a hellbear attacks. Very strong melee combatant. But avoids, avoids kingdoms, kingdom settlements where possible. The guy's, like, literally right outside of my walls. He just really wants to kill my tax collectors, apparently. That's fine. We'll throw some money at the problem. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty. The services may help. There we go. 
We should also upgrade the rogue's guild. Yeah, it's true. Uh, one thing that I will mention about Majesty specifically is as a kid, it took me the longest time to realize that the little floating scrawls that appear above your buildings is something that you could actually click on and read. So, like, my initial foray into the game didn't really have much tutorialization at all because I was not aware of that feature. See a ruined keep, a dark castle. You won't get castle dark war. My goodness. All right, I think I want to kill this ruined keep up here, but there's no hurry. Yeah, the ring level. Oh, that's uh, that's the one where there's another kingdom on the map, and you have to get to the ring before them, right? I I I vaguely remember that map, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. Let's see, we're gonna put a trading post up here in the corner, generate some extra money. And a guardhouse to protect it. You were bad at video at every video game as a kid. Yeah, that's something that I'm starting to learn too. Is that like some of the older games that I go back to that I played when I was like eight or ten years old, like uh, Starcraft is a good example. Like I thought I was good at Starcraft, but I was awful at Starcraft. And then, like, ten years later, I went back to play StarCraft, and the game was super easy. And I'm like, I don't know how I was ever this bad at this game. I even remember playing online ladder matches with StarCraft, and, uh... I, I was a kid at the time. I was, like, eight years old. Uh, nine years old. And, like... People would tell me I was bad, and as a kid, I was like, no, you're the one who's bad. It's pretty cringe now that I think, <laughs> now that I think about it in Our retrospect. <laughs> I was the kid who would never build, like, Majesty, more workers to collect more resources, and I would justify it as saying I was saving money. And now that I look back at that, I'm like, that was just not not the great way to do that. Of course, nowadays I realize that you gotta spend money to make money, so. So, my finances aren't doing too great, but once my trade post starts pumping out caravans, then it should be, should be okay. And my tax collectors need to collect their taxes, of course. A sovereign. Your Majesty, tax All right, so we only need, I think we only need to build a fairgrounds, right? That was the, uh, that was the objective? Yeah. So we don't even have to destroy anything, we just have to upgrade the palace to level 3 and build a fairgrounds. I do remember some of the northern levels being really hard. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Because a lot of those levels I have not played in depth, so, so I'll be curious to see how that goes. Fortunately, this map doesn't have a lot of pressure. It's uh, it's pretty chill. Once I 
pump out these barbarians, I can start taking out the lairs. Five hundred to get to level three. Okay. I see. That should be fine. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Actually, I probably. I mean, I don't even have to destroy the lairs. The lairs are providing me with a little bit of gold, so. From the monsters that spawn. The adventurers are going out to kill the monsters, coming back and uh, investing their gold. So. Okay, maybe I just leave them on the, uh, the lairs for now. So I have some barbarians. I should be able to see... Yeah, yeah, here's a here's a ranger following and supporting a barbarian. I always like that. Like like the idea of adventure parties going around together and doing stuff was something that quite enamored me. It was very Dungeons and Dragons esque. And I think they expanded on that a little bit in uh <laughs> Majesty too, <laughs> but but here is just kind of a cool thing to watch because the barbarian and the ranger is a pretty good combo, and then you get like uh... well, no, I guess you can't get a healer on top of that. All right, so four hundred and seventy-six. I believe that gets multiplied by the level. Yeah. 952. So if this was level 3, it would be it would be more. Yeah, yeah, I I modding has never like I like playing mods for games, but it's never been something that I've dabbled in. Uh, I think way back in the day I made, like, oh, Oblivion mods for Outer Scrolls 4, but that was, that was just, like, random dungeon mods. Things like that. All right, I can now... Okay, before I build the fairgrounds, I have to destroy the Dark Castle. Okay. That should be pretty easy. Yeah, I'm sure it probably does get get pretty messy. My ambition has paid off. Crust spitters. My ambition has paid off. Okay, so they're just arranged arranged boy. Cool. We'll see how this goes. Maybe, uh, maybe if I, um, do well with the first Majesty, I'll go play Majesty 2. That's... I don't even know if I can get that game to work. <laughs> Thinking about it, I think it, it, it's a buggy mess of a game to begin with, and then you put it on a newer computer... And uh, I think it used to have DRM, but I don't think it has DRM anymore, or maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, I remember playing that game when it first came out, and it was an experience. You won't get my gold. <sighs> not a, not a, not a great experience. Oh, vampire! Vampires are cool. Is he going to be able to one v one the vampire? Probably. 
Bleh. That's fine though. We don't have to kill the vampire. I adore the first Majesty. And there's a reason I'm playing it, even though it's 2024. Majesty 2. I didn't hate it like I like a lot of people hate it. But yeah, I'm inclined to agree. All the heroes just kind of played very similarly. It didn't feel like they had their own personality and attitudes like they did in this game. Even though heroes in this game are inclined to bad decision making as well. But uh, it, it definitely feels like... Like, uh, like the, uh, the heroes in this game, like, there's a difference between a ranger and a rogue in this game, because the ranger goes and explores the map, and the rogue steals everything that's not bolted down. Uh, I, I guess that happens a little bit in Majesty 2, but, but not, not anywhere near as much as it did in this one. It's done, Majesty. We're on the road to building a bright future for the kingdom. And I think your I think mother, part of the reason they did that from a design perspective was to make it a little bit less frustrating to play, funnily enough. Because if you it, it made their actions more predictable, which made them more easy to guide and control. But in my opinion, that's not really the point of this game. The point of this game is to lean into the hero's personalities. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. I, I might not know what I'm talking about.